Hey everybody, Damien here from Disturbing Creations DIY. And are you just kind of laying around the house, bored, bumming, with nothing to do? Well, stop! Because I'm going to show you how I made $97 out of a scrap garbage microwave. Yeah, like the stuff you throw away, I'm making money off of. And it only took me two hours to place some ads to sell some stuff and to tear this little thing apart. Let's get right into it. I want to show you how to make money on your spare time too. All right, so here's the second microwave and just gonna look and see what happened to this one as well. I guess Meta wants to look in there. So, I mean, this one is way worse than mine because it was actually rusted and busted out of the bottom. So like <clears throat> mine was rusted here on the front, but I thought when the door closed, it would make a seal. You see where the seal is, where the line is? But this one is just so foul. This was my renters in my uh, rental property. Uh, left this for me to clean and scrap because he was a, a, a weird piece of crap. And uh, we're not gonna go any farther than that. If you wanna read my other channel, uh, Legion Parabellum, then you can learn all about why I had to throw this person out. And digress, this is the microwave. We're gonna take the microwave apart, me and Meadow right here. Say hi, Meadow. Hi, baby. We're gonna take the microwave apart like we did the other one, and we're gonna see what's inside. And um, I can only imagine that most of the same pieces will be inside, but I'm gonna actually try to sell some of this stuff and see if we make some money and then report back to you guys. All right, so as you see, we turned the microwave over and to get this top shield off, this has a security bit in it, just like our old microwave that we took. Now this one happened to have all four of the back bolter security tip. And what that is, is it's a Torx head, but it has a hole in it. You see the hole? So if you don't have the hole, you can't get a regular Torx in here because it has a nipple protruding. So this will fit right in there. And then what we'll do is we'll just get a little adapter here. And unfortunately mine is not magnetic because I got it uh, Harbor Freight. It's a great kit, but I don't know why this piece wasn't magnetic. So then we'll just take the little screw out here. And it's, it's very small. I like how they have these locking washers put on so I could reuse this screw for something else if I wanted. It'll lock and it's a security tip. Now I did this one, this one, and the two on the other side. And now we're gonna take this plate off and see what's inside this microwave because it could be a little bit different. Now, all I did was take out those four security bolts in the back. And as you can see, there's one that goes right here, but it's regular Phillips and one right here on the other side. Uh, this is the box that actually cooks the food, as you can see when we open back up and all the controls and the computer system and everything is on this side. Now, this machine kind of looks the same as the other one. The fan actually looks the same, even down to this microchip is exactly the same of the one, the 2012 that we took out, but I'm hoping that that is not blown, but that's a weird looking fuse. I wonder if that's what happened when this microwave started eating itself. But as you can see, it's still bolted in. They bolt in the same way with the ground. So we're going to take this apart and we're going to take this these two sleeves off, and then we're gonna have a nice um, plug, three-way plug, so if anything ever burns up, another microwave or your uh, any of your appliances in the house that have a three-way ground, this is a perfect plug to save. If you had go to Home Depot, you're gonna pay $10 for this piece of wiring for a plug. So we've already made 10 bucks. Uh, there's a little plate that came in here, like a glass serving plate. Um, those are eight to ten dollars depending on the width. This one is 16 inches. It's really big So I'm gonna go with ten dollars. So we've already saved 20 bucks. And we haven't even touched anything like this in here There's a socket here with a light on it the, uh, and that light can withstand 
um, certain amount of hundreds of degrees of heat. So, and then this box also, so that the heat doesn't go off the light and burn up any of this wiring. And you get a heat shield, the socket, and there's a bulb in here. So we're gonna be saving that. It was $10 on our other microwave. So I would say this is about $10 as well. We're at 30 bucks, we haven't even touched anything. So let's tear some of this stuff up and get some of it ripped out. And I think we're actually gonna take this microwave because it looks very nice and turn it into something else but you're gonna have to wait to the end of the video to get that surprise. Um, right here, there's one screw and then some tabs and you will pull this thing out. Now we are going to scrap the motherboard, even though you could probably use the timer and maybe some of these other pieces. If you solder, you're electronically inclined because this whole board works, you know, but, um, I, that's not my specialty and, uh, I don't need it. So this is going in the scrap pile at, I think it's like 80 cents or something right now for green board. If it had some gold on it, then we could melt it down, but it doesn't. So I just wanted you to see. Now, on the last microwave we did, we took this off and took the push button board out from here as well, because it's green board. But I want this one to look like it's a microwave. So we are going to keep the buttons here for a facade. Okay, so we have disconnected the capacitor from ever, or the uh, discharge unit from the capacitor here and from the, the like basically the, the waves unit to shoot the waves into the microwave. Now it says that you're supposed to discharge this, but this microwave has been off for at least a week that I know of because the guy's been moved out. Um, and I just, took all these off and I let it sat for 15 minutes to discharge itself a little farther. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the four screws out and pull the capacitor out.
Now, when you're getting this last bolt out, you have to hold the capacitor because it'll either fall if you have it upright, you know, and you're, you're screwing straight down. I'm doing it from the side so it can't fall in too deep, but I had to hold it because it's pulling all the pressure on the last bolt. And the capacitor unit is made out of steel and it has a lot of um, uh, uh, copper winding in it. This is very heavy. Th this thing probably weighs like, oh man, 15 pounds? 15 pounds. This is most of your microwave weight is just this little box right here. And um, we looked it up in the last Kenwo Kenmore and uh, said, I think it was, you could buy a used one for like 30 bucks or a brand new one for 115. So we're gonna put this one on eBay because we have the old one. So now I'm just gonna get out these last two bolts for the um, heat shield and the light here. And then I'm gonna take the uh, wave emitter, this high, high voltum output um, off. We're going to take this high volume fan off. So now I have two, which is great to build my podcast room and keep my equipment cool. And we're going to sell this. We might sell this or keep this. We're going to put this into a new project. We're going to get this wiring out. And we still have this sneaky little capacitor back here to get. This thing is like 25 to 40 bucks. And now we have two of them. So I'm going to sell one. So I just removed the two screws here on the back side of the fan and they're just regular screws as well. But I really like these screws, I'm telling you, because they have this little extra washer here, lock on washer. They're split and tapered in the end so you can put them through and they have a very thick pitch because they go to like metal to plastic or plastic to plastic. So if you have to buy, we're gonna put these down and show all the screws and I'm gonna tell you what all these parts cost here in a minute. But now the fan just pops out. So push these two pins in and then lift upward. And then you see that this has a, a motor and a copper windage as well because this is under such high capacity and speed. This is way faster, more RPMs, and more reliable than any of your computer fans. I see a lot of people taking out those little block computer fans, the old school block ones, and remaking things, or the wee little ones from the uh, laptop. And they don't take any energy. But they really don't produce a lot of CFM. If you want a big fan, you're going to go with this. You're going to put this hot. It only has positive and negative. And um, you can put a switch on this wire and turn it on and off as you want, or you can connect this to a power grid, uh, like whatever unit you're putting it on. If we put it on our amp or our microphones and stuff, that whenever we turn the equipment on, it will also turn the fan on. And it comes in this nice little box already, you know, so you can slip it in or you could drill two holes through here and screw it on. Um, it has capability to be screwed in in the back here where it was with the two screws so these screws just went in here you know i'll probably just put them back in and then i now have them saved for whatever project i'm going to do uh, and that would be the best thing so i'm um, gonna go ahead and detach this then we're gonna get the shield off. The, now I can get to the capacitor for the two bolts down here and get this off and we're done. So this is the light. And this is the heat shield. And I just took it all out with the wiring harness with the fan so I can cut it, do whatever I want. And this little, this is nothing. I might I might sell, try to sell one of these because the same exact microchip came out of the other one. Uh, if not, we're gonna rip the piece of car, car, copper off and then these little uh, pieces for the slave and throw this little piece out. little bigger and 
That's where your microwaves come from. So we're gonna sell this unit as well. Now everything's out except the capacitor. Let's see if we can get that on the camera as well. So just the little capacitor here, see it? It's right here in the corner, it's hard to, kind of hard to get to. It's only got one screw. Gonna take that real quick. And there it is. And now we have two of the exact same one with the exact same clip. Exactly the same. I'm telling you, all this stuff fits. If your capacitor breaks, you might as well get another microwave because this is like 50 bucks. Then you got to pay someone to take the microwave apart. Then you got to pay someone to put this back in. You probably spent 150 bucks to have somebody come out here and fix your microwave, this capacitor. And you could have took the old one out of your old microwave, threw it in a, threw, a, threw all this stuff in a little box and put it under the sink and forget about it until you need to fix your microwave, you know, or sell it. You sell all these parts, you get 50 bucks, and then you go buy a $150 microwave for $50 off because you didn't throw this in the garbage, you know? All now, <clears throat> I'm forced to take the back off here just to get the turntable engine motor. Um, I don't have to do it, but I want to get that little piece out as well because, again, most of them are all the same and you can either sell it or reuse it. I already have one from the old microwave. So I could use it as a turntable top or something else, but you have to get this panel off to get it. So we're gonna get it off. So I'm still attached to the door because I'm going to be using this, but now you can at least see the little engine that I'm trying to get out of here. So there's the Ross Electronics. And then we're just going to get this one screw out of here. Like all of them, the same thing. They still have that half moon cut off. So if yours breaks, you can always just grab one out of an old one and throw it right in. All right, so let's look at all the great parts we got. So this is the old dish I got from the small microwave that was mine that I actually tore apart like a week ago. And this is the new plate from the new microwave. Now you see that they're extremely different. I have a new, new conventional oven that takes this big plate, and this big plate to change to get a new one if you crack this was $12. So I washed that, and I'm saving that. And this will actually fit in there as well, but as you see, it's a smaller border. So let's say that your plate is naturally this big, but you save this little one. Well, when this one gets dirty, you can wash it and soak it and put this little one in and just, you know, for a day or so, uh, you don't have to put in the on here to go all the way around the edge. This will still work, you know? So we saved two plates. Um, we saved the, the connection to turn the light and other things on and off. These for when the door is open. We have the two sensors, one on the uh, wave emitter and, or the radiation emitter, and one that goes in the box. We have the radiation emitter itself. This was like 40 bucks. The turntable engine is good. This was like 15 bucks. The capacitor, I think was 20, 25 dollars. This discharger is an average of 70 to 80 dollars so i didn't cut anything off of this one um i should have saved the old one as well but i mangled it 
Um, I didn't think that it was resellable, but it is, and it's very expensive, so I kept this one intact. I'm going to sell this whole thing. Um, we get all these different screws as well, so I'm saying it's about five bucks in screws. At least a dollar twenty-five for four of these security heads. Uh, they would probably charge you like two bucks for two of these, you know. And then you get all the rest of them for free. We have this microchip that has the windage, the copper windage, and the ground on it here, and a fuse. So that fuse is actually still good. So this is exactly the one that came out of my old microwave. Two of them. All this stuff is exactly the same, and they were two different brands. Uh, we're going to get rid of this green board or sell this green board as well because there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to put all this stuff up on eBay, and then I'll do a video and tell you guys what I actually sold and what I made money out of. Uh, we got another heat lamp, so if our light ever goes bad, we have a second heat bulb and socket if it ever melts with a shield. All the wiring, the other two plugs that go to the door are here, these click plugs. I didn't cut any wiring this time because I noticed it's exactly the same, you know, almost 100%. I did get a little ground wire that has two buck connectors here, so this is really cool. I'll probably be using this on something on the on the car. Um, we got this high capacitor fan, the exact same one as the other one, and I put the screws back in it if I want to mount it that way, you know. And um, another roller with good wheels. It just needs, you know, good scrubbing. And the wire. So I would say we got like another $100 worth of stuff. I'm gonna make another hundred dollars worth of this when we got the box put back together and it works it opens and closes so i'm gonna sand all this out and repaint that in there I'll probably just hit it with some white spray paint and make it look like a microwave again oh i forgot this piece for two of these was eight dollars but now we have two of them so i'm gonna clean these up as well and see if i can sell these even if i get five bucks for two it's less than what you're paying, you know? So that's it.